Welcome to the shop. Uh, it is the September 2015 shop tour. I'm not starting in the normal position I do. If you've ever seen a shop tour, I always start standing in that corner facing that wall. Today I'm more in the middle of the shop. See the shop door is closed because air conditioner is running. It's a nice hot September night. If you hear the buzzing in the background, the air filter is running too. Um, and the shop is a mess. Uh, typically I would do this on a night when I'm not really doing much else, so I would usually wait, you know, I often do it a couple days into the month. But since I'm in the middle of, of, of a project, a couple projects, and the shop is a complete disaster, I figured why not shoot a video. So over here you'll see the bandsaw has been rotated. That wheel basically hasn't moved and I've taken it and spun it out because I'm doing some resawing. See how close the blade is. Um, I did some practice pieces before couple little eighth inch slots there that's just pine and here is an eighth inch piece of walnut um, so it's working very well and that's with really no setup it has the um, wood slicer Highland woodworking blade on it. it does seems to do a very nice job and the saw just tracks beautifully so it's a Laguna 16 uh, LT 16 or the 16 inch 3000 series model. We don't actually make this saw anymore, but I, I love I love it. It's uh, it's fantastic. I would recommend the Laguna bandsaw. Um, my selection of stickers has grown a little bit, so um, I will be returning stickers to everybody ultimately when I get around to it. We finally have our stickers. But as I come around, <clears throat> you'll see here on the bench is some walnut that I was planning on using. Well, no, here's the here's the deal is uh, I'm making a skateboard and I was going to use uh, maple and purple heart and make some, some striping with the purple heart but you see the purple heart board's a little on the short side the purple heart board is 30 inches long the skateboard needs to be 48 inches long so I can't use the purple heart so I just picked up from my dad, I ran over there after I had a Cup Scout meeting tonight, I picked up this this piece of mahogany, which is frankly not really the color I'm chasing either, though it does still contrast with the maple quite a bit. So we'll see how that works. I think tomorrow in the morning I may try to secure some additional wood, but we'll see how that goes. Anyway, so that's that's the wood selection. See, it's taking up my miter saw bench. Um, you can actually reach the joiner now because the two sheets of MDF I've had leaning against it for the past two weeks, I've dragged out in the driveway. I have to put them back in before the night's over. Um, there's my air tools. <laughs> you see, it's air tools. And my Brad gun because over here I've got my little Senko compressor and the Brad gun's tucked over behind it because I'm using the Brad gun. The Brad gun usually lives up in the attic. I don't keep it in the shop. I don't use it that frequently with the woodworking. Um, but I was using it here underneath all this stuff. It's a little hard to make out. You can see down here and up here, I've got two torsion boxes I made. And this is a great, great book. Handmade Skateboard by Matt Berger. Um, highly, highly recommend it. I am not a skater. I have no desire to skate. And yet, reading this book, uh, I've had a desire to make one. So, here we go. These are all 8th inch Baltic birch plywood to use as the core of the skateboard and I'm working on milling the rest of it so you can see there are my notes from looking at it today and some layout tools that I was using as I turn around that's the shop in mid project it's not as clusters as it can be when I just lean things everywhere but you can see with the dust collector hose in the middle you see all those chips from the planer I was running the planer before with the dust collector turned off even when you hook it up, you have to turn it on. Um, so, this is the shop in September 1st, 2015. Middle, in the middle of lots of projects, and it's going to be a busy couple weeks. Once I get through the skateboard, I need to finish the arcade cabinet. That's a glued up panel for the arcade cabinet you see there. And when I'm done with that, I still have the window seat to do also. So. It's going to be a, a busy September and then maybe we'll relax a bit in October. Hope your shop's busy too.